Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Maggie and today's scripture will be found in James chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and a man and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a manner a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Today's, today's devotional is called The Power of the Tongue. The tongue is tied to the heart. If the heart is right, the mind can be right. And the words and actions of our bodies will then be right. Words can help us or hurt us. Lying, gossiping, cursing, belittling, backbiting, and sowing of discord will always find its way to disrupt the home, church, and relationships. This quenches the Holy Spirit, breaks fellowship, and separates loved ones. On the other hand, wholesome words can feed life in the soul of another. These words of life are from the life of God within a heart. God's truth is often hard to accept, but God can use these words and transfer life in the hearts of the listeners to give strength for their lives. God's word has much to say, but I will present you three biblical challenges today to allow God to tame our tongues. These will produce good habits of speech and responses of grace from our words. Always be aware be aware of the tongue. We cannot tame our tongue, but God can as we yield to the Holy Spirit. Beware of the tone. Words from a clean heart and the right tone will bring healing to the souls of others. And beware of the timing. It takes the help of the Lord and wisdom to say the right things at the right time. Let our words always have grace. Keep your words sweet because you never know when you will have to eat them. And today's key verse is Proverbs eighteen twenty one: Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Some things that I got from today's devotional is that our words have a really huge impact on um, ourselves and our testimonies, but also others and how they feel. Our words can be used to build up and and um, glorify and praise God and encourage and edify others, or we can do the opposite and um, tear down others. And a quote that I had seen this week said, um, don't use gossip as a bonding tool. And gossip is just one of the forms of a a bad example of what we can use our tongue for um but one some positive things that we can use our tongue for is singing and praising the lord and praying with others and praying out loud to the lord and it is a gift to have the tongue but we can also use it for bad and today's thought to glow is death and life are in the power of the tongue let's pray dear heavenly father thank you for this day thank you so much for all you do for us god and thank you for allowing us to be able to have Renew and to um, just gather in your name, Lord. Um, and I pray, Lord, that as we go throughout our day today, that you would help us to use our words to glorify you and to um, help encourage and build up others, Lord. I pray that we would use our tongue for good things and um, not things that are going to destroy our testimonies and... Um, just put a bad name for you, Lord, and hurt others and tear them down, God. I pray that you'd give us the strength to do that. And in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.